I'm Katie Wilde. I'm a singer-songwriter from the UK and I'm going to be converting this Ford Transit into an off-grid camper van so I can take my music on the road, write with amazing musicians and go to amazing locations and just have an adventure. And this is Ellie, my partner in crime who will be helping with the build and joining me in the van. If this sounds like something you're into, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow along with Wild Adventures. Welcome to week two. This week I put the subfloor down incorrectly, realise I've done it wrong, pull it up and put it all down correctly, lay the insulation, get the plywood on top and get that whole floor section finished. Let's watch the misery of mistakes unfold. Just got back from B&Q, we managed to get all the stuff for the flooring, which we're going to get done today hopefully and then the stuff to fit the vents, which will be this weekend on a sunny day. So what's the plan now, Carl? Plan is, you get our battens all laid out on the floor, decide where we want them, glue everything down, and then we have our uh, Celotex off-brand Reflectix. Insulation for the floor, this boy. Uh -huh. Oh. So we Something fill the gap, there. so we make, a, we make a grid on the floor with wooden battens, and then we fill all the gaps with insulation. And then we're going around it with foil tape. And then we've got to make a big old plywood floor to go on top of it all so we can work on it. Um, and then we'll, when we come to the very end, that's when we'll pick a flooring that's not just plywood. And... So what happened? F***ed up, didn't I? Come here. You're going to have to learn to bleep stuff out. Yeah. I thought it was a wise idea to put wood down in these recessed bits so we'd have more floor space. And then we realised that the insulation wouldn't really be insulation if it's 25mm thick and we're cutting this out of it and then it ends up being 5mm thick. What's the point? There's, that's no insulation. So last night, I was actually watching YouTube videos of other people putting the floor in and it was a bit of a moment. Ran out and ripped them all out, which is why it looks like someone's left a load of chewing gum. It looks like the bottom of my English class tables. So now we're going to do all the flooring again, but going across. We'll lose more headspace, but at least it will actually be insulated. So that's what we're doing. The plywood floor has started to go down, but oh my god, is it difficult to get the, the wheel arches and get it right. So we're going to take a little bit of a break. It's a really sunny day, so we're going on a bike ride. That is the subfloor finished. Right now it's held down with screws that are too long. I don't have the right screws. But they're just there to pin it in place. So as I measured the next piece, the piece before didn't move and ruin everything. So everything's pinned down. Um, now I just need to get the right screws and we're gonna leave the floor for a while. Until we come to finishing things, I don't wanna put a nice floor on top of this. It's probably just gonna be lino, but still, I don't wanna be then cutting holes in the roof and having metal fall down or doing other messy jobs and ruining the floor so for a while at least i think we're finished with the floor I'm quite happy i mean there are definitely bits where you can tell i've never done this before jaggedy lines not it's not particularly well cut but it's going to be covered with the floor and oh with the nice floor and i've learned a lot i've never used a jigsaw or a circular saw before so quite happy 